Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at how to eliminate unwanted objects from your footage in DaVinci Resolve, the free color grading, editing, and compositing software from Blackmagic. Sometimes a sign or a person or even a boom pole can ruin otherwise perfect shot. So it's really good to know how to double up your footage in layers on top of each other, go in, use masks to eliminate, and then track through the shot to make sure that you've got what you need. All right, here we are in Resolve. I have put a clip of this bus uh, turning the corner in New York City, but say I want to use this for a superhero movie and I don't want the New York Avenue in here. I need to hold down option and duplicate the clip by, I'll delete that, holding down option and dragging it above itself. So now I have video one with one clip and video two with an identical clip above and below it. I'm gonna start working on video two. So I'm gonna go over to the color tab. I'm going to go over to my uh, windows, select the curve and then just do a quick little window around the New York. You'll see nothing has really happened because I don't have an alpha output. So I'm gonna go over here to my node, right click, oh, add alpha output. When I drag my blue uh, output to the blue alpha output. So one last thing I need to do in the top clip is invert my mask. So I'm going to go over here and click the first window, not the second one with the sort of uh, Kanye West sunglasses pattern, but the first one that will invert it. Now you see in the, um, if I make this bigger, you'll see that the node has the full amount, but just a strip down the middle uh, where the New York was. So now I'm gonna select my bottom layer by clicking the bottom of these two. And if you can't see this, it's the timeline window and go over to my sizing. And then I'm gonna pan left. Look at that. And even if I play through, it's actually pretty good. It's duplicated what's below. It's not perfect, so we're gonna go back to this, pan around to something we like, and then I can even tilt down, start to get the top of it. And if I wanna stretch out that bottom area, I can do my height. So I mean, that to me looks like just a continuation of the building now. And in the greater scheme of things, you're really not gonna notice it unless it moves around this clip does move around. So what we're gonna to have to do is track the, uh, the window um, so that uh, it stays with the clip as it moves. So back to my top clip, go over to uh, here, then select tracker and it's clicking window. And I'm just gonna track forward and you'll see that the computer will track forward. All these little points are being placed on. And now the window, I'll click off it so you can see it better. Now the window I made is being tracked with the camera. So even if I scrub through really fast, it's totally invisible. A couple of other things I can do is uh, play with the softness of the window. So the inside and outside um, uh, sort of feathering. That makes it even more invisible. And I can also, because it's its own node, I can go down to the bottom one and, and grade that. I can make it darker or lighter. I can make it more and more, um, more or less saturated here. If I wanna make it a little bit different than what's next to it. Or if the, if the part you've replaced this with uh, is a different color, you can then grade it back to the color you want uh, with, its, with its, um, the color wheels. This is a good way to see how Resolve works by having basically uh, creating two layers on top of each other. Again, I did that here. This top one, I put a hole in. The bottom one that was revealed by the hole, I moved around and resized slightly so that that became my new, um, my new background. And that's how you get rid of things in Resolve uh, without even using Photoshop. That was eliminating objects in Resolve from Blackmagic in 2020. Software changes all the time, so this is the latest and greatest way to do it in Resolve. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, check the description for gear, um, including a link to the software, and I will see you next time.